Now, R is equal to square root of. Now, what's our summation x? Summation x is minus 4.67 all squared. Then plus into bracket summation y, which is 8.01 all squared. Now, what's the final answer? Let us press this. We have this to be square root of into bracket minus 4.67 plus bracket all squared. The plus into bracket 8.01 plus bracket all square. Then press equals to. We have this to be 9.27. So 9.27 meter. Then what's our distance? Our direction. Direction will now be tan inverse of summation y over summation x. So this will now be tan inverse of. What's the summation x here? That is. 8.01 over minus 4.67. So this now becomes, let's press this. So we shift tan, shift tan, then press fraction button. 8.01, then come to this, we have minus 4.67. Let's break it here. We have this to be minus 59.76 degree. This can be there. So this is the this is the distance and this is the word, the direction. Now let's move to another question. Question number two. Or question number four rather. Now the question says, and this will be the last question for today. The question says, calculate the displacement. Calculate the displacement that will be needed to get the ball into the hole on the first stroke if a gover takes three strokes to get the ball into the hole on the green. Given the first stroke displays, so that means let's say the gover is here. Then now say the first displays six meter knots. So that means it goes like this. This is the knots word. Now six meter. The second one strokes 3.0 meter southeast. Southeast. Don't forget we have north, south, east, and we have west. Southeast. Don't forget I told you whenever they rotate together like that, it will be at the middle. So this is, it goes like this. This one goes like this. This one goes like this. Southeast. And that is 3 meter. So this one is 3 meter towards southeast. But well, because the south is like is at the middle, then it will be 45, 45. Then the third one is two meters southwest. So southwest will be here. So it will also be 45 degree. Then 45 degree. Now we now need to resolve this. Now we resolve this. This one, you observe that you cannot resolve this because this one has its specific direction, is going northward. But this one does not have a specific direction. We have to resolve it. The vertical will be like this, and the horizontal will be like this. You cannot take the, the horizontal to this direction because it's not facing this side. It's facing this side. So that's why the horizontal is towards this. And the vertical is towards this. It's not going up. So we cannot take it up. This one as well. If you want to resolve this now, so come down like this, and it's also good like this. Now, we now want to resolve this one. This one is 3, but because both of them are having angle, so you can say 3 cos 45, or you even say sine, or 3 cos 45 as well. So it is either you take sine or you take cos, because the both the, it is at the, words, at the middle, unlike the previous one we saw. This one as well will now be, what's this? Th the third one here is 2 meter. If you check the question, it's a 2 meter southwest. So southwest is at the middle, I told you. So we are now having to be 2, then cos 45. Then this one will also be 2 cos 45. Now let us go and resolve this. Now if you want to resolve this, you have your distance. And we have the x component, we have the y component. Let's use these two. We have the first one to be 6 meter. But if we check the 6 meter, 6 meter does not have the horizontal. But it has the what? The vertical. does not have the horizontal, but... It's as a vertical. Now that means at the horizontal it will be zero. It's going towards vertical, it will be what six. 
even if it falls with downward, it will be 6. Now, if you have this now, for the next one, the next one is 3 meter. 3 meter here, 3 meter, the horizontal component of 3 meter is this. But if you check the quadrant, like you have positive y, negative y, positive x, negative x. Now, if you check the 3 meter very well, the horizontal is towards this. And is it towards positive x or negative x? That's positive x. That's why it is plus 3 cos 45. Then, if you check the vertical component of this 3 meter, the vertical is like this. Is it towards negative y or positive y? It's towards negative y. And that's why it is minus 3 cos 45. Then, if you check the third one, the third one is 2 meter. Now, if you check the 2 meter very well, the 2 meter horizontal component is this side. And if you check, is it towards neg negative x or positive x if you see it's towards what negative x and that's why it is minus 2 then cos 45 then for the vertical this is a vertical the vertical here is it towards negative y or positive y it's towards negative y and that's why it's still minus 2 then cos 45 then let us find the summation the summation of x and summation of y and let us place this on the calculator. Now for the summation x, we have it to be 0 plus, we have 3 cos 45, close bracket. We now have plus the next one, which is minus 2 cos 45, close bracket. We have it to be, expressed in decimal, we have 0 0.707 as of it. The press this, the next one will be 6 plus into brackets we have minus 3 then cos 45 close the bracket then plus into bracket the next one is minus 2 then cos 45 close bracket of this close the general bracket press the cost to express in this that's 2.464 2.464 then press ac now don't forget the resultant is equal to square root of that summation x all square, then plus summation y all square. Then this will now be square root of that summation x, that's 0 0.707 all square, then plus summation y, which is 2.464 all square. Then this will now become, let's press it on the calculator, we have square root of into brackets 0 0.707 all square plus into brackets. 2.464 all square. The press equals to, we have it to be 2.56. So this is the resultant of the words of the distance now of the displacement. Now let us find the direction. Direction is tan inverse of summation y over summation x. Now, everybody at the comment section, let me have the direction of this question. At the comment section god bless you for today like comment and subscribe i remain inshallah the blessing popularly known as jina david so at the comment section let me have the direction of this question thank you very much god bless you